you know, like everybody's got a pocket wolf because he's, you know, pretty easy, a pretty consistent character, and someone who doesn't have to deal too much with, I guess, gimmicks, for lack of a better word. Mm -hmm. Whereas uh, Zane, as a player, plays a lot of kind of gimmicky characters. You know, I no shade to Zane. Zane's an incredible player. But mm -hmm. Duck Hunt, Steve, I think they might have a... No, I don't think they have a Bowser Jr. I, I think I'm thinking of someone else. But I gimmicky characters nonetheless. I could have sworn that they, 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 they got a wolf in their pocket as well. But I could be wrong. But uh, right now, um, Zane over here is, is playing for Duck Hunt. And, and we're going to go on small battlefield. Now, uh, well... Won't lie, uh, the match is already here. Is already put, put looking uh, pretty explosive, and and Wolf is 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 uh put is putting some pressure on, on, onto that dog. Yep, and I do notice we have a uh, gentleman to small battlefield, which I think is on our uh, counter picks list. Uh, so yes. I believe that would have had to have been a gentleman. Best which, stage in the game. True. <laughs> Thanks, John. <laughs> but. I do think it is it is interesting that Zane would want to go to this stage, and I think that is because you know, despite having such a zoning focused gameplay, Duckman is not bad when it comes to scrapping. You know, they've got decent buttons, a good uh, like neutral air sort of get out get off me tool, as well as some great. Uh, conversions and disjoints, as well as, of course, uh, Can, which is an amazing reversal. Coming out frame one, gonna be able to bust out of any combos, but really, right now, it seems like Zane's the one who's hold holding all the combos. Ah, uh, yeah, uh, I'm not, uh, <coughs> excuse me. Uh, Star is, is playing, uh, but somewhat defensively whenever he, he does a quad get, get on stage, but, uh, he's hoping he can put at least a little bit, a little bit more pressure. Trying to weave himself up in and out up between between the cans and, and and the henchmen. Yeah. That being said, we can also see Zane start to get a little defensive under these platforms. You know, we've said time and time again these sort of this sort of like PS2 platform like layout. Those platforms can be such a safe haven for zoners. And we can even see Zane just chilling. Good, con good conversion with, yeah. the, with, 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 with the can. Yep, had that cam set up so long ago and was able to convert out of the clay pigeon. But LRA start finally on the board with a great dash in F tilt, but certainly a mountain to climb, and especially when you're taking all these nickels and dimes from all of the hitboxes Zane is throwing your way. Oh dear. Oh, that's so much damage. Oh, I'm trying oh. for a triple. Man, Zane over here is, 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 is trying to make a, trying to make a, 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 a hype up a tweet video over here. Yeah, looking for the Twitter clip. <laughs> Man, uh, now, now seeing up LA start over here, of course, swinging of course, for the fences, trying, trying to put to land something, but good oh. DI there, of course, by, by start. Yep, almost getting the uh, conversion there off of the clay pigeon, but instead just using the up air to catch LA start, trying to jump into ledge, and that's you know. Like I was saying, you know, these PS2 style platforms, if you're not playing carefully around them, if you're really trying to brute force your way over them back into center stage, you're giving Zane so much room to catch you. And Duck Hunt is really just not lacking when it comes to even raw kill power. Oh, well, yeah, if I'm not mistaken, look, uh, he, he has gotten some buffs compared to his uh, Smash 4 counterpart. Mm -hmm. Now, now we're back over here. We're over here on on, P, on PS2. So let's let's see if the start can uh, start uh, start winning trades. Yeah. So going to PS2 over Ooh. going back to small battlefield. Very interesting when it comes to counterpicking a zoner. I have to imagine LRA starts Ooh. wanting more of a defensive playstyle and already paying out with a stock while LRA start only at 43%, getting a great conversion. I got, uh, I, I gotta say, I, I'm really liking the, the, the new pace of uh, Stark guys over here in this day. So it seems like he, he's gotten a little bit, uh, see, he, he has a bit of, bit of a, a better idea of, of how the Duck Hunt plays, or at least specifically how uh, Zane uh, plays uh, Duck Hunt. Mm -hmm. That being said though, Zane is such a good player when it comes to setting the pace of the match. So I have a feeling, you know, 
despite being, you know, caught off guard at the beginning of this game too, I feel like Zane's gonna be able to really start to put the momentum back into their favor. See them already using the can on the platform there, but LRA Start, this time wisely moving his way around that platform and instead getting a dash attack putting Zane off stage. I, I love that, but... Okay. Oh. And, oh. So, so what I really like of course, as, as far as the course start when it comes to edge guard, oh, great, great side B. Uh, the one thing I, I really like about about uh, Star is, is that he's going when he's edge guarded, he's going for the the, the forward tilt, of course, you know, for for the two frame as opposed to risking it for of course, with a down air. And yeah. and now of course, we're uh, let's see, Zane over here of course, on on his last stop over here. Yeah, man, Zane, you know, having to play from behind, from so far behind, you know, Zane can set up these sort of trap houses on the uh, PS2 platforms, you know, with the goons, the clay pigeon, the can, all they want. But if they can't get LRA to approach, then Zane's got a problem on their hands. Yeah, and and right now it, it seems that uh, 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 Star is a little com a little comfortable for where he's at. I mean, he, he's approaching, but he's not trying too hard. Yep. But start getting caught by the ledge there, not getting caught by the uh, the projectiles. Zane went for a similar read to the way that they ended game one, but instead, unfortunately, getting a trade. All right. Good conversion there with the can. Still working on LRA's second stock right now, while the percentage is racking up for Zane on their potential last here in this game too. Uh, ooh, nice, the uh, 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 nice kick. So let's, let's see how he's gonna go for the edge guard. Uh, missed. Uh, so, so uh, what am? Oh no. Yep. Now, I love the setup there from Zane using the goon to get LRA to. Using L the goon to get LRA to jump and instead getting an up air for their troubles. Thank you for following. Anime will become real. <laughs> <laughs> I, I couldn't not acknowledge that. Thank you. No, that's fair. Oh. I'm going to be acknowledging that up smash read for LRA getting game two. I, and, and I am sure Zane is also going to definitely acknowledge that. But but uh, I I really like the uh, the adaptation in this game from the start. So now so now it's up to uh, Zane to uh, kind of pick a, a, a good stage against him. Yep. So Zane will be sticking with the duck hunt as opposed to you know switching over to any other characters, and they are going to be running it back to small battlefield where they won game one. But, I mean, yeah, I feel like LRA Start, now that he is playing a bit more comfortable in this sort of PS2 style layout, he's a little bit comfortable going back to small battlefield as well. Well, let's let's see over here, cause, because again, uh, he, well, while he did um, quick, quick, he get like a better grasp of, uh, about how uh, how Zane plays, uh, Zane, of course, Zane did of course, of course did win in, in this stage. So the the advantages of, course, of, of, of what Duck Hunt can get on the stage of course, is, is still there. Yep, and a good oh. can con conversion there. I was a little scared. LRA got sent so far out. But Zane bringing things back to even after LRA had so much momentum here coming into game three. Oh, nice, nice option select. Or, or, or rather, or, or, or nice coverage for that kill. Yep, I believe that um, the, the up smash for some animation put LRA start above Zane's, um, <coughs> above Zane's get up attack putting him in the perfect position to punish that with the, uh, the up smash. Getting Zane's first stock. Zane now trying to lay down the pressure with the pigeons and the goons. Oh, oh, oh. didn't get anything out with the can. I, I could have sworn that would have been death. Uh, let's see. Uh, oh, that was such good coverage by Zane using the one hit of the up air to change the direction of the can, putting it in a perfect spot to and, catch LRA coming in with the uppy. And and now we're back to things being slightly even. 
Hello Star, of course, is still in, oh, in, in good spot right now. Well, I say that as uh, as the gap gets smaller and smaller. Well, <laughs> never mind. Now we're back to being Ooh. now we're back to being even. Yep, Zane going for a similar read to the way that they lost their first stock with the uh, F smash. I believe with that charge definitely could have been close to killing. Oh, that was a scary moment with the can right there. But actually using the clay pigeon to break through, LRA start throwing out the F smash. Oh, let's let's see how he goes for the edge guard. Oh, there he! Oh, wow! The dog, the dogs of course, of course still live. Oh, and an untackable. So unfortunate for Zane. Gonna be putting them on their potential last winner stock while they still have to work through Ellery's second stock. Oh, let's see. I don't know about that down there. I don't know who's double jumping that high. <laughs> Oh man, uh, this, oh. This, this, this is looking uh, fairly close. Oh. Uh, all, all Star needs to do is, is, is get a good edge guard going, of course, of course, and, and, and like, of course, seal the match. Oh, oh and even at 180 after the hit, LRA Star not falling to that can. Zane has to work even harder now while hey, LRA Star just gets that much more rage. Oh no! Okay, gets a little bit of a, a jank gimp there uh, by getting hit by just the one hit of the up air. We take those. We do take those. <laughs> but Zane has to work so incredibly hard to get this last stock right now. Well, it feels like LRA really just has their number when it comes to getting around all these wacky projectiles. Ooh, I, and I am not sure of, 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 of about that particular uh, edge guard uh, from, from start over here. Game. Gave Zane enough room to put to come back on stage, and and now and now Star is, is paying the price. Ooh, yeah, and it's slowly coming back to even. LRA is starting to get to those kill percents, but catching Zane jumping in with the goon with the up air. LRA taking it in a very close two one. Prop. Props to start uh, for, for, for like uh, for like adapting uh, course, despite the block uh, course, on, on on round one and props and, and props to uh, course, Zane uh, course, for keeping it competitive. Absolutely. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I mean, it felt like oh, once good tech actually once, once LRA stopped falling for a lot of the longer duck hunt tricks, like you know the huge long combos. It felt like Zane had to work so much harder to try and get those kills. You even see, you know, LRA was at 180 there and just uh, wasn't dying to cans or anything uh, like that. Uh, yeah, I, yeah, I, uh, uh, I agree. Like, uh, once, uh, uh, once Star uh, 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 managed to really understand uh, how how uh, his duck hunt worked, uh, uh, it, it started uh, piecing together. Mm-hmm.